So pretty much, I'm going to try to shove it on today. I have a 15 ounce skinny and a 30 ounce skinny, and I'm going to kind of try and do them as a set. Um, I have some better colors picked out, and I've never honestly done one of these before. So, um, pretty much I found the Chevron thing on Google, and you just upload it. You don't have to pay money for things. So, you decide where you want to line, line things up. I'm going to start with my 30 ounce. Roll it on. Smooth it as you go. It's kind of getting a little twisted as I go. Like it's coming up here a little bit. But we'll see if I need to readjust anything. Pots and bubbles in my transfer tape, so it's fighting me a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and start undoing this side. Do this yesterday because I got tumblers in the mail. Should not do things like this. <laughs> Actually, like it as it is, but I'm not too bad. Like that. I got a glitter. Okay, so we finished getting the transfer tape off. Now we're gonna go into cleaning it up because it looks like crap right now. So I already started at the top. You wanna just go through section by section. You can use your scissors if you really wanted to, but I'm gonna use my exacto knife and just try and clean it up. And just go down each way. I swear I'd never do a cup like this. And then I saw enough people doing them, and I'm like, that looks really neat. So now I'm trying it. And so far, it's not too bad. It's just lining up your decal uh, and not getting any major air bubbles. Like, I have to fix this crap over here, but I'll get there after I'm done cleaning this up. This, you're just going to keep going down through and cleaning up so it's not crisscrossed at all and it has a nice seamless pattern. If you have air bubbles like that, you're going to try and push them down to get them out. Um, I mean, you could really try and like pull it up and smooth it down, but I don't feel like doing all that because we're just going to be painting in these areas. That's all. Okay, so this is just one layer. And what I did was I went through and I counted my lines and then I found glitter to match the lines. Um, I did the top and the bottom the same since they're not really cool lines. And I'm going to go back through and do another layer of glitter and then we'll peel it. This is after two layers of glitter and I'm going to go through and pick off all the decals now. And now you just go in and fill up your white areas with your Mod Podge. And then you do some sort of iridescent white or whatever white you choose.
Okay, just keep going from there.